who would go through stuff like this? I know most people, this is kind of creek or something that you wouldn't even, most people wouldn't even think about going through. Or just like, I mean, you're gonna catch small fish. You might walk, run up on snakes or briars, ticks, thorns, poison ivy, but you might catch a bunch of little fish. Here's a five inch swim bait next to the two inch Kitech Easy Shiner swim bait that I'm gonna be using today. I've been using swim baits a ton here recently and it's only probably the last six months and I know they're huge, people throwing around giant ones for big fish, but I'm gonna go wait in this little creek where there could be some good sized fish and, and anything can hit this little two inch swim bait. It's a nice little size, I'm gonna use a real light jig head. Uh, probably throw it on four pound line. So let's go see what all, I'm kind of curious what all it'll uh, catch and ha will it tear up easy? Will it last? Will it will it lure, out, lure out any, I know there might be some bass in here, any bigger large mouth. So I'm really curious to go try it out. Oh yeah, back over across the highway. I love this little spot here. It's like a couple little creeks coming together and upstream I actually learned that there's a pond so sometimes, oh, I see some, there's a lot of green sunfish in here, but sometimes some of the fish can overflow out of the pond and then make their way down to the creek and then they just kind of live in the creek. There's a bunch of little fish down there right now. Uh, there's a lot of little fish in there, but uh, on the other side of this um, tunnel there, there's a deep pool. That's gonna be where some good ones are at, I think. Not as much water flow today as I thought. Man, take a look at this. I don't know if you can, s yeah, well you can see those. There's just like, there's a ton of fish that live up. <clears throat> there's all kinds of fish right here. Oh, that's a good one. That was a big green sunfish hiding up in this stuff. And there's a little bit of water. There's so many fish can live there. It's not even flowing. Usually it's flowing over this. It's not really flowing. But that deep pool back in there looks good. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, there's a little bass right here at the front. Okay. The water's really clear. I think I spooked him. Oh, that was a little green sunfish. There's gonna be some, oh, dude. Oh my goodness, there's so many sunfish in here. I think you can see into the water. Watch this. <laughs> he was on it right away. Oh, it's a red breast. Couldn't tell what it was when it was out there. I'm not sure how the camera's showing up. Sometimes the light in these dark areas, it's kind of make it hard to see. But uh, this is a red breast. And of course, he's got a big mouth. No problem eating that lure. I'm starting out on a, just a trout magnet jig head. It's a 164th ounce. And that little thing right there, that's getting their attention right away. I want to see if it'll bring out any bigger bass or anything. Oh man, dude, they are hammering it. Oh wow. Yeah, one, one thing, all these little fish hitting, they keep jerking it down. But that's, uh, those little ones do that a lot. Oh, this little fish hit it, a, a, a bigger bass came out after it, but he, this one got it before he could get it. Little bitty bluegill. Ugh, it's hard sitting like this. Where'd that bass go? Man. It's getting hit as soon as I drop it in the water. I think a lot of lures would get hit in this situation, but this one, I like how this size is. It's not too small, it's not too big. Where's that bass at? Oh. Oh. Oh, fish on. oh, I see the bass, I see the bass. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my 
good. As soon as it hit the water, this fish got it right where the bass were. It's a, a green sunfish. So everything in this creek is just looking to, especially in this deep pool, they're just all trying to feed and be the first one to get to the food so they can get bigger. Where do those little bass go? I think they're over there in that shade. Oh my goodness, I can catch fish all, oh, all day. Mm. Oh, oh, there's the bass, all right. But there's like a million sunfish. The bass don't look too aggressive. They're real calm. Uh, I think they're a couple of little large mouth. But uh, that one right there, I think is one of the, is a hybrid. I believe green sunfish, bluegill mix. And I think they have some of those in the pond that leads, that feeds into here. Oh, I put that right in front of that little large mouth and he just swam away. All right, let's get down in there and start getting back up in here. There's a bunch of little fish still right here, but I want to move on. All right, well, it's good being out of the tunnel, but this pool is a lot shallower than it. Well, I guess it's about normal. Just not as much water flowing into it as it is a lot of times, but there's a lot of sunfish in here today. And this is one of those kind of places that they, uh, you know, when it, when it rains really hard, this is one of those places that gets really big and just floods through here. And just, I really think a lot of these fish will, when it comes to flood, they swim on out because I've seen lots of different fish in here. And they kind of grow, get bigger. Flood comes and new sunfish come in. Little ones and grow up and then the bigger ones move on out. Oh, what was that? Another good red breast. Well, I know that I saw at least two or three little large mouths. Haven't got anything to hit. The sunfish are super aggressive though. Oh, what was that? Something, something had it. <laughs> These guys are hammering it. That's a nice green sunfish. Well, the sunfish are looking, looking good in here. Every time it rains, all that rain coming off the highway here is going to flow right in here, bringing them more food. Ooh, they're hammering it. Oh no, it took my, that's why I was trying to, I'm getting a lot of bites, but I'm not trying to jerk because I figured they got the end of it. That one robbed it from me. This is one of the best times I've, or uh, this is one of the most amount of uh, sunfish I've caught out of this hole before. I've fished it several times, but usually it's just a few. Oh, there's a red brush on a bed over there. They're still on beds. All right, these are the, like I said, the Kitek Easy Shiners two inch one i think this is the smallest they make but they're really cool of course they can get ripped off easy and they tear kind of easy but uh i don't know how many 12 12 of them come in a pack so let's put another one on oh yeah that's that red breast that was on the bed right there they uh some other fish came out and was about to hit it and he was like Beat them to it and got it.
Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I was getting some little nibbles, and then uh, this bass came and picked it up. Yeah, it's a good little creek bass. If you go back to some of my like, very first videos, it's from fishing here, and I caught some really good bass out of here. But like I said, it, it changes. One, some days, there's sometimes there's some good ones, then you know they wash out and maybe new ones wash in or something. Oh, right, just a little perspective. So there's the tunnel came through, and this is the hole. It's not nothing huge, but there's there was loaded with fish in here, and there's a bunch that I probably could still catch, but I'm gonna move on down. But there's so much fish and just a you know this little hole. But this is the biggest deep hole in the whole creek. It's a pretty small creek, so they're really gonna hang out there. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. I think there's some more deep holes actually down the creek. I've never walked through. I don't know if I've ever walked through the whole creek. We'll see how it goes. I'm also trying out some new water shoes. Yeah, I got some tan lines, but it's the first time using them. I've been waiting on them for a couple months. So far, they're so good. So uh, I'll show those at the end if I like them. They weren't too expensive. Oh, okay. I remember this hole now here. It's kind of uh, long and deep, but it's really hard to get a cast in. I got him. I got something little. If there's dirt, if there's any bigger fish, they, it's, you spook them real easy. That's not. That's a little one there. Let's try to go through it. I can barely get a cast down that way. Try to, oh yeah. Whoa, what is that? Wow, that's a chunky green sunfish. That is cool. Not giant, but that, that's, a, that's a good size one to catch. Oh man, there's a lot of fish in there. Oh, I got one. What was that? I don't even know what that was. Oh, and they bit off my tail. There's a lot of fish in this little hole, but it's just, this is why I like, uh, this right here is a six foot rod, and sometimes I'll use that five and a half foot when I go to small little streams like this. I'm sticking on my third uh, swim bait that I'm going through, and I'm gonna head deeper into this creek. Oh, I see little bass. There, there's a lot of little fish. What is that? Turn up, what? Get out of there. There we go. It's green sunfish. He wasn't too scared. I was kind of easing up in here. Another little large mouth. No, oh, he's a spot. Wait a minute. He's got a little bit of a tooth patch, but 
Let's see where his jawline is. Now that's a large mouth though. His jawline's a large mouth and I don't know, he's almost got, it's, I don't know. I can't tell for sure, but little little bass. Dude, they're hammering this thing, watch this. Just gonna drop it right here in this little two foot deep hole and there's like four fish on it. What is that? <laughs> just dropped it right like three feet in front of me. This is the kind of deep hole that actually, it can hold a two or three pound bass. Water's probably two and a half feet deep. Got a lot of root system right there overhanging. But the big fish in these spots, like that you gotta sneak up on them. They'll tuck up under there and just hide away um, as soon as they see something unusual going on. And I can't really get any casts too far up ahead of me. But th there's a possibility of some good, good fish being in these places. <laughs> I missed him twice. Red breast. You don't have to do much to coax these fish to hit. They're just looking for anything to eat. Oh, where's a good fish? He's, I think he saw me, I don't know. No, didn't matter. <laughs> he saw me or not, he wasn't gonna pass up a meal. Oh, there we go. I think I got a rock in my shoe. Got a little bit of rock in there, but man, I'm, so far, these shoes, uh, of course, it's only my first time wearing them, but I'm walking this gravel bottom. They're, the base of it's pretty solid. I don't feel any rocks or anything. And uh, this uh, stuff's real tight. The gravel's not really getting in my shoes like a lot of little pebbles can. Ooh, those fish are aggressive. This little, this little creek basically turns into nothing. It's getting shallower and shallower. Look at this thing. Still, every little pocket, there's just a bunch of little fish in there. Yeah, these green sunfish will live in tiny little puddles and basically anywhere. They'll be like the last fish lived in an area. If there's anything living in there, it'll be a green sunfish. But then they kind of get pushed out. They, they get pushed up into these small areas, I believe. They just, doesn't take much for them to survive. Man, there's a lot of cobwebs in here. This is a thick creek. I'm trying to get, I think it comes out at another road. I'm trying to get to that. Never went all the way through. And it's not a easy place to get all the way through. Oh wow. We're starting to get into the thorns. Blackberry thorns. I think I'm almost to the end of where I'm gonna go though. Let's see here, I've been 46 minutes going down this little stream. Well, fishing and going down it. Ow! Man, yeah, things are not easy to move. Oh, oh, okay. I 
hear something. There's a little, there's several fish up in this little spot up here. Must be deep around the current corner there. See some, can't get it up there without getting it stuck. Some good little sunfish looks like. Got one of them. A oh, red wrist. I mean, there must be a must be deeper on that corner. I see several fish hanging out right there. Dude, they're nailing it. Oh, I jerked the tail off again. See if we can see this. Look, there's like 30, 40 fish at least. Different sunfish looks like. Maybe a few chubs mixed in. Just in this little pocket right here. Just so many fish in this little pocket. Oh, big old crawl dad too. There's, there's like so much life. There's a frog that jumped in. Oh, there's a bunch of the other chubs. It's a big crawl dad right there. Oh, come here. He got away. And then boom, it's back to real shallow. All right, number four swim bait. Oh, there's a snake. First snake seen today. Thought I'd see a lot of them. Oh, there's a nice deep pool over here too. It's probably where that snake was hanging out. Okay. Got a little, little deep pool. It's the first I've seen in a little bit. <laughs> I watched that guy. The chubs are hitting at it, but they, I could catch them they, if a bigger one hits it, but most of the time they're my eyes are too small. <laughs> There's a lot of little fish in here. They're up under that little shelf right there. Ow, ow. The birds come out and get you. Oh, nice. You can tell right away when you catch those. Like you can't see how red they are until you turn them upside down and then you can see the uh, red breast on them. As soon as they turn, you can see the big old right, bright red spot. Uh-oh. I hear some thunder and oh yeah okay I did get the bass kind of working my magic casting that was a tough cast on that one nice large mouth well uh, I'm not near as far down the creek that I thought I was I thought it was gonna be a go all the way to the next road I got a lot more to go, which I don't want to do all that. And I'm coming upon some houses. So I need to find a way to the road or I have to walk all the way back. I'm gonna try to get to the road. And when I get to the road, I got like a, ow, probably 20 minute walk back to my truck. I watched see a car, so I'm not too far from the road. Oh, yes. Okay, I may have went down the edge of somebody's property, but I got out of there. And I'm gonna get back. Start walking. Well, I made it back. A little trip turned out to be uh, di definitely different than I thought. Interesting, the creek got smaller as it went downstream, which was really weird. I thought it would get bigger and deeper, 
but it's like all the water went down into the ground as it went down and it's it's mainly like a couple little springs feeding it so it's, it's not a lot of water but whenever it rains it, it runs down the hill and runs off the road and it gets a lot of water washed through there but uh pretty cool um i didn't go as far as i thought i was gonna go and then i was able to cut through and get out and walk back so the little little two inch swim bay the easy shiner it was awesome of course they got a really good action i love the three inches and the four inch ones but uh, I never used the two inch ones, which turned out really good. The fish were nailing it. There were so many, it was, it's amazing how many fish are in just this deep of water, you know, maybe this wide. And there's, you know, 50 chubs in there, 20 green sunfish, red breast, maybe a couple large mouth kind of living in there. And they just, that, it was, the water was kind of cool and clean and rocky and there's just crawdads, snakes, t uh, frogs, lots of life in those tiny little streams, which I always think is awesome. I've, I've kind of gotten away from that. I was talking to a friend of mine and he's like, you haven't fished any little tiny creeks in a while. I was like, yeah, I've been going after bigger fish, but I love these little creeks, exploring those kind of things. It's just, it's just so much fun. It's a little bit different challenge and you never know what you're going to come across. All right, these shoes here, oh, let me get them off. These shoes turned out really good. I have a hard time getting finding shoes, and especially water shoes, because I wear a size 15, so that's part of the problem. I don't even know what, it says fashion on there. I don't even know what the brand is. I ordered these two months ago. Um, they're made in China, and instead of a ship from um, California, super flexible, uh, the bottom is really solid. Uh, you can slip them on and stuff. So I finally got some uh, wading shoes and some water shoes, and I walked back on the road, and it was, Pretty comfortable in them too so you know i can't tell you for sure if these are the best in the world and i don't even remember how much they were i think they were marked down but i remember waiting forever to get them but if you, you don't have a pair of uh, like kind of wading shoes something you can slip on it allows you to just um because i want to be able to go in the water want to walk on the road walk through the uh, woods just be able to do a lot of things and if you're wearing shoes that you don't want to get wet it's, it's going to hold you back from doing so much fishing in creeks Basically, if you're going to creek, just playing, like, I'm going to get in the water and go where I want to go. You'll come across a lot more fish and you'll just, you'll just really uncover a lot more stuff. So thanks so much for watching. I didn't get rained on. The storm hasn't come in yet, but uh, I'm getting ready for supper time. So I'm going to go get me something to eat.